Hey everybody, I thought it was uh, very, very much needed to explain to you guys how New Game Plus and Continue Plus work. I know for me, before I beat the game, I kept looking up details thinking like, should I do a New Game Plus? Should I do a Continue Plus? Well, the good news is you save your game right after you beat it, right? And that save file um, becomes, I'll show you real quick, just to give you guys like a um, visual... I'm sorry my pug is sleeping on my lap if you hear her breathing. But, um, so as you can see, this is the game I beat. And if I select that game, it's actually going to allow me to do still a new game plus or continue plus. Now, the good news is you always have this save file. So I already started a new game plus and I can come back and I can try out a continue plus. So, yeah, good news. You get to try them both. So, New Game Plus is basically going to make you start the game again. You're going to wake up with the Time Egg, which is going to allow you to go to the ocean again and fight the boss whenever you want. So yeah, as you guys can see, there's now a spot on the beach where I can fight the boss at any time I want, which is great for getting all the endings. Alright guys, and another cool feature of New Game Plus is there's the Relief Charm. So, I've chosen Nikki here. You can select anyone. But um, after you select this, you can exit out, and when you go in battle, what's that's going to make Surge switch out with that character. So you can basically use um, any team you want, even though you'll be playing as Surge. As you enter battles, you can have any three team members all together, which is kind of cool because you can build some unique teams. And you guys will be very happy to know that you still get the Forget-Me-Not pot. So I would suggest equipping that. And... Uh, when your second playthrough, you'll get all the characters for Sprig. So guys, I'll just show you. I recently um, started playing. As you see, I got Poshul there. But um, I'll just show you that, for the most part, like, all my elements are still here. So, like, um, Ultra Nova, Holy Light. You're going to have Black Hole. You're going to have all your elements, but one thing that does suck, as you can see as I'm going down, you'll still have your traps, but you're not going to have your summons. And I'll go all the way down here just to show you. Yeah, so these are all my elements from the last game playthrough. Just showing you what I kept, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are interested in actually seeing this. And then on my equipment, uh, oh yeah, key items are definitely gone. You do not keep any of the key items. These are ones I just got. You'll just wake up and get the time egg. So that's pretty much all. The, you're going to have to get everything else again. Equipment wise, you're going to keep your rainbow items like uh, the Spectra Swallow. The black plate's still going to be here. Um, let's see. So yeah, most of your weapons, just not Glenn's second sword or the Mass Moon won't be here. And on accessories, I'll just go down here and show you real quick. Oh yeah, and um, items. You'll be happy to know that you do keep your items as far as rainbow shells. They do carry over, so that's very important to know. Um, you do not get to keep your tech moves. So don't spend time on the safe file collecting them because you're going to have to get them again. Unfortunately, the tech moves, I spent like all the time collecting them. I don't have them anymore. And eventually when you get the Chrono Cross, uh, which is like at the end of the game, I have a tutorial on it if you're curious how to get it. But um, once you get the Chrono Cross, you're going to come to the Hydra Marsh and here you'll be able to teleport to the other dimension in Sprig's house. And you'll be able to get all your characters that you had in your last game playthrough that you beat the game on. Uh, it kind of sucks you have to wait so long to the end of the game on your new game plus to get your characters back, but that's just how it is. I do plan on doing a tutorial on how that works, so check the description in the future for that video. So in New Game Plus, that allows you to go different routes and collect other characters that you may have missed out on. You do get to keep all your frames, so that's kind of cool. So Continue Plus, you can think of Continue Plus is just loading an old save file and having the option to basically have all the features of New Game Plus. So just check this out. On slot one, the game that I beat is right here. 
So if I load, uh, as you can see, it's Lena's image right here. If I load that, the only option I'm going to get is a continue plus and a new game plus. Well, say I want to continue the game that I beat, and I'm like, okay, I want to still continue and do some stuff. Uh, this game data has been completed. So that kind of sucks. You can't continue your game after you beat it, from, from what I understand and what it looks like on here. So I'd highly recommend that you use your rainbow shells and you craft, like, if you're using the Massamoon, Go ahead and do Surge's Spectra weapon, since that'll carry over, and like rainbow weapons for beginning characters. Anything that'll help you out in your new game plus game, like armor, uh, made by rainbow shells or weapons, I highly recommend doing that before you uh, beat the game and start your new game plus. So it's not even like a continuation of the game or your characters that you ended with, it's actually loading an old save, so that might clear up some confusion for you guys. It's not continuing. Don't, don't think of it like a continue plus from where you were at. Think of it as just loading old save files and having new game plus features. And guys, as I continue to mess around with new game plus and all that, um, check my pinned comment because I'm going to continue to update other things. And feel free to comment and leave any questions you have about this and I'll continue to answer. So, Also, if you're wondering if enemies are any harder, the answer is no. They're actually still pretty easy, so far. But I've heard they've only doubled their health, so I'd imagine the beginning characters are very weak anyways. So another thing kind of cool is new bosses become available in the bend of time. You'll be able to fight Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. All right, guys, uh, if this video helped you out, please like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.